so it, it grows so fast. I don't know what it is. How long is it? Uh, well, uh, when I'm in my bare feet, it's right to the floor. Oh, and um, it's just something that, you know, just I was blessed with very healthy hair. Is this hair when you were growing up in, in Paintsville? You couldn't afford scissors. That's so probably far. the truth. No. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I had very short hair. My mother always, you know, she didn't want to deal with hair. So she'd always cut my hair real short. And I always wanted to have hair long enough for a ponytail. Mm. And I think I did that. So. I think it just about. I mean, from several ponytails, by the look of it. A dreadlocks, even. I mean, no. you could rival Bob Marley, couldn't you? I, was, I, I, I mentioned the poverty in, in the background. I mean, you, you grew up as so one of eight. Loretta Lynn was, yes. was, was your eldest sister. One thing I'm always interested in, in country styles is... Do you have to come from poverty, poverty like the best blues comes from poverty? Does the best country have to come from those kind of roots? Well, I, I don't think so, but maybe um, uh, there's a, you know, for me, you know, I, I grew up in a, a background that I could not change myself mm. to be someone different. You know, I'm still, uh, what you see on stage is what I am in person. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I've always said if I've sung about all the... Uh, if I had to live all the heartache I've sung about, I'd be in real poor shape. Well, you really so. would, wouldn't you? That's <laughs> right, yeah. So, I mean, a lot we got, we got over here now, we see like the country music TV on satellite and cable and what have you. You got sort of designer country stars, you know, <laughs> sort of come out of Los Angeles. Yes, how do you feel do. about How do you feel about new country? Well, to me, um, country now in, in the States is really what pop music was in the 70s. Mm. And uh, there's a lot of great music, though, uh, a lot of new newcomers. Um, it's it's like there's a lot that they're going to have one hit and maybe you'll never hear from mm. them again. Uh, there's a lot more, but you know it, it's it's so popular that I'm just so happy. They don't go on tour on the big old silver bus anymore, do they? Well, yeah, a lot of people do. do they still? Yeah, Garth has his bus. I, I had a bus in it when. Um, we had trouble with it, so he let me use his, and I, I thought that was racist. Right, well, you're on tour here now. I take it you haven't got the silver bus over here. Well, we do have buses here, but they're, they're not the ones not from the States, but I bet they're just as good. So where are you going? Yeah, you're doing oh, Scotland? And... Uh, well, we start at Saturday here in London at Caesars, and then we go, um, oh gosh, um, we're in Bristol, Birmingham, uh, places in Scotland. Uh, this Ireland. was a quiz question. You have to yeah. name them all. That's <laughs> no, right. I I've got them all here. Inverness, I know you're there. And you go to Ireland, you're going to play, um, you're going to play Belfast. Yeah. Yeah. Aren't you? The, the, um, the, the, the opera house there. It's huge country music in, in, in Ireland. What do you think is yes. the enduring appeal of it? Well, I, I know that I think story songs, I think just the, the, the type of person that, I don't know. I, I know that uh, there they know my songs better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> and it's great. I love it. There's a lot of Irish music in country, of course, isn't there? Yes. Kind of and well, Irish you know, my, my mother's um, mother was Irish, mm -hmm. so. Um, you know, I, maybe that's why they like country music. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're playing with Rudy Coolidge yes, on some of the yes, kids. Yes, Rudy's and, great, yes. And uh, Birmingham, is it? The, the, the with Tammy Wynette, yes. And uh, that's going to be nice. Yeah, that's going to be fun. But uh, Rita and I, this is the very first time that we've uh, worked together. And she's such a wonderful lady. Do you get on? Or is yeah. this just for the cameras? You know, you don't, you don't for a fight backstage. No, we're not fighting. <laughs> Because <laughs> you hear, you know, I mean, the, the old stories about, you know, people trying to upstage each other. I don't think we're going to have any problem with what that. What are you going to be singing? New material standards or what? Well, I'm going to do definitely songs that uh, people are familiar with. Uh, I do some album because I have a, a new album out in the States. It's mm -hmm. coming out at the end of May. It's a gospel album that I'm real excited about. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. It's called uh, Someday, and I'll, I'll do the title. How do you think the <clears throat> fans who know you as a country singer are going to accept you doing gospel? Well, in the States, you know, gospel is very big. In the last few years, it's mm. just skyrocketed. But, I, you know, um, actually, country artists would always do a gospel album mm. in their career. At some and stage. this is what used to happen. Then it went away. And, um, you know, I've been wanting to do this album for such a long time that uh, it's, to me, I always say it's, a, it's my gift back to God for giving me the talent I have. We gave you a lot, and we're glad you came tonight. Thank you. Crystal Gale, have a great tour. Good Thank luck you. with the album. Crystal Gale, thanks very much indeed. See you in a minute.